Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're talking about a fragrance from House of Louis Vuitton. So I am very, very excited about today's video because, well, excited and a little sad because this fragrance is no longer available. You can no longer purchase it with Louis Vuitton, but it's a fragrance that is loved by many and will not be forgotten because it's one of my favorites. Uh, I wish I would have gotten the opportunity to purchase it. I didn't do fragrance videos then or fragrance reviews at that point, but this fragrance is definitely a holy grail in someone's collection. So the fragrance we're talking about today is Cactus Garden. So I have my, this is a little Celine pouch full of samples, by the way. So I have all kinds of goodies in here that, you know, if you guys want me to do like a sample review, like, you know, just, you know, just pick out random samples out of this bag and talk about them, I am more than happy to do that. But I have two here that I have of Cactus Garden. Now the funny story about this actual sample is when I purchased my fragrances from Louis Vuitton when I first started doing YouTube reviews, I selected other samples for myself and both times I got Cactus Garden and they didn't give me anything else besides Cactus Garden, which is very unusual because at the time you couldn't even purchase this fragrance anymore. It wasn't available on their website. It wasn't available for phone order. It wasn't available at all. So I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe they were just trying to clean out the warehouse and that's why I got them. But today's fragrance that we have here is Cactus Garden. So this fragrance was launched with two other fragrances, one of them being Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. This is what the packaging looks like. This is exactly what the packaging would look like for Cactus Garden, except it would be green. There was also, I believe it was called Sun Sung Song. Sun Song, and that would have been yellow. So it was three of them. They were all supposed to represent California and the California beach or desert or thing of, you know, the state of California, such as Hollywood, City of Stars, stuff like that. They have come out with new ones since. So there is now on the beach, they have California Dream, they have City of Stars, they have Pacific Chill, and there is obviously Afternoon Swim still available. But one of the ones that got discontinued, unfortunately, was Cactus Garden along with Sun Song, which I never got to smell Sun Song. Let me know down in the comments if you have it or if you have smelled it because I'm interested in, you know, hearing what people think about it. But, you know, there's not that many people talking about it. I don't think it ever got much fanfare. But this fragrance is a little shocking that they got rid of it. Oh, it is just, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece in the sense that it's a light fragrance. And to make something light and fresh, different and unique, and have some emotion and some soul behind it is definitely a hard thing to do. And Jacques Cavalier, who is a perfumer for this fragrance, did a fantastic job. So you get notes of lemongrass. And I don't see lemongrass nearly as much as I would like to in fragrances. Lemongrass tends to have all the great attributes of like a lime or a lemon. They kind of smell similar. They're not going to be, you know, citricky, both of them, because you're whenever you get lime or lemon, you're getting the whole fruit. Typically, it's the peel. So it's going to have a little bit more of that tartness, more of that bitterness. Whenever you're getting lemongrass, obviously it's just lemongrass and that has its own particular smell. It's a little bit more green, but it still has that lemony type of smell. And in this fragrance, it is marvelous. It smells delicious. It gives you that fresh opening of a fragrance. And then you start to get more nuanced things in this fragrance. You also get Mate and Calabrian Bergamot. The Calabrian Bergamot is obviously in here because it's supposed to give you that freshy type of quality. Mate gives you that earthy, grounded type of vibe for this fragrance. Then you get geranium, which is a very unique actual ingredient in this fragrance because geranium can come off. If you've ever smelled the geranium plant, they do have a smell to them. I know, I know a lot of people say that they don't. They're a little bit more green-ish type of smelling. They're not, it's not like a rose or a peony or a lily of the valley where you're going to get a beautiful floral note. Geranium is more of a earthy type of smell, a more greenish type of smell. You get this in this fragrance as well. The frankincense in here give you that little kind of contrast to everything else in this fragrance, kind of, you know, bringing it down to earth so it's not so top heavy. And the scent is just good. And the reason I think it's so good is because if you've ever been to the California desert and 
with my luck, every single time that I've gone to the California desert to visit, it has been raining. There's a very peculiar smell in the desert when it rains. It's, it's very unusual. You have to be there to actually understand it and comprehend it. That is what this fragrance gives you. It's a cloudy day at the desert. I know, rare. It's not something that happens often because deserts are typically sunny. But this one gives you that dry desert with a cloudy sky. It's about to rain and you get that beautiful type of mustiness that comes through the air. And that is what this fragrance really represents. It's really, really good. It's similar to Afternoon Swim as a baseline because Afternoon Swim still has that emotion in it as well. But this one itself to me has more of that gardeny type of quality, like the lemongrass and the mate and the geraniums. Normal people would actually have probably lemongrass geraniums in their garden. Uh, I'm not sure if most people would have bergamot or if they would have mate growing in their actual garden itself, but geranium is definitely a common actual household plant for gardening and it does give you that vibe of a cactus garden because cactuses don't really have a smell to them at least most of them don't but whenever you get them wet as well you kind of get that vibe of what i'm talking about when it rains in the desert and that is what this fragrance smells like it is fresh it is light it is zesty but at the same time, it has emotion, it conveys a message, it is giving you that inspiration of California, but it's looking at California with a romantic eye. It's looking at the California desert with romance, and this fragrance gives you that, but it also gives you that light-heartedness to it as well, that funness that really gives you the opportunity to wear this fragrance to multiple different events and really enjoy it. So what do I think about this fragrance? For longevity, it's like the rest of the uh, cologne range, which they're not colognes, they're eau de parfums, but Louis Vuitton has them listed as colognes. It's called the cologne collection. I'm assuming it's the style of fragrance. It's not necessarily relevant to the actual concentration of the fragrance itself, but they're not going to be super long wearing. At least in my opinion, the Louis Vuitton fragrances never have had that really great longevity and performance. But for the moment that you do get them to wear, they wear very, very nice. And this one, I really wish I had a bottle. I wish I had a 200 ml size bottle to be precise because this is a really nice fragrance that definitely did not live up to its potential because I think they launched it and discontinued it not shortly, not long after, I should say. And they didn't really give it the chance to shine and you know get that fanfare because I feel like now in today's market, we're so familiar with Louis Vuitton being overly hyped, meteor, we have imagination, we have what's, I can't pronounce men's ones, the original one that everyone's so into, you know, Ombre Nomad. Those fragrances are cult following fragrances. They have a bunch of fans to them because of YouTube and TikTok. But this one itself, I think that if it would have gotten the opportunity to still be in production today, it would be a very popular fragrance. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts of Cactus Garden are. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Did you get to smell it? Did you not get to smell it? I, like I said, if I would have gotten to smell this prior to it being discontinued, because I wish I would have, I would have definitely bought a bottle of this fragrance, especially back then when it was a lot cheaper. But I didn't get to, and I kick myself in the butt every day. I still look it up online periodically, but it's it's so expensive if you find an actual bottle. And then you run into the problem if it's going to be legit or if it's not. So it's a little difficult to trust the internet sometimes. That's why I usually have trusted sellers that I follow and that I purchase things from or I buy it directly from the actual store. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fragrance related content. Until next time, you guys, take care. Bye.